Hey guys, um, so welcome back here to Fat Kid Inside. Today I'm working with one of my favorite things, which are squids, lovely calamari. So we're gonna make a nice frito miso, something nice deep fried. You know I'm not the best, biggest fan of things that are deep fried, but I love a deep fried calamari. And it will be perfect with that mayonnaise we made last time. So what we're gonna do here, very simply, is just gonna make the flour and process and, and get those flavors together properly. So I got about 300 grams of flour here which I'm just putting into a bowl, and then I just want some flavoring to go with it. So what I'm gonna do, very simply enough, is grab my Nutri-Bullet here again, put my oregano in there, and then to that, I'm gonna add some flavoring. So I got my salt, about two generous tablespoons of that. I've got a little bit of ground ginger powder, which I'm putting in there as well. About one teaspoon should do the trick. Then I'm adding about one teaspoon of cumin powder, or cumin seeds if you have them. And then we're gonna put a little bit of cayenne pepper in there as well. So about a teaspoon of cayenne, blitz it in here. Once that's done, I'm gonna mix that into my flour here. Toss everything so everything's nice and fine and we'll coat our squid calamari perfectly. So now I'm gonna take our calamari and I'm gonna split them down, especially the big parts here. The heads will leave as is. So I'm gonna cut down one part and then just flatten them like that and then cut them into manageable pieces and put that into our flour here and repeat that for all the other ones as well. And the heads go in as is, but we're gonna coat them separately. So I'm gonna start first with our regular body karma in there. Set that aside here, and then I'm gonna take my heads and coat them in there as well. So just give them a nice toss. What we want is just a nice, light, dusted coating. If you have too much excess, it'll be like clumpy and, and almost in poor light. What we want is something nice light manageable. So make sure you just shake it down so to make sure it doesn't get too clumpy. Now, I'm gonna cook my heads first because they take a bit longer than the bodies. So I'm gonna put that in here into some oil. You can come closer to check it out. So you wanna do it slowly and you wanna do it far away. You can test it by putting it down first like that. If you see it bubble, then you're good to go. So I put those in there for about one minute first. After about one minute, I'm gonna take my other pieces here and I'm gonna put that in there as well. Make sure not to overcrowd the pan. You just wanna get the perfect amount in there or else everything's not gonna cook properly. So everything's there, everything's inside, the temperature drops, now it's manageable. Now we've got something good going. Should take about two to three minutes to cook through. This is a very quick process. Of course, when you're frying, you can't use things like olive oil and stuff, so I'm using vegetable oil here to really just get everything nice and hot. <laughs> So everything's nice and brown. I'm gonna put that like that. See how it's perfectly coated. Our calamari is ready. Now I just wanna top it in with something. Obviously when you're making calamari, what do you eat it with? Tartar sauce. We don't have tartare, but we have the mayonnaise that we made last time. Please check that link if you want to see how we made it from scratch. It's very simple, but I want to dress it up, make it a bit different, make it a bit more interesting. So how do we do that? Very simple enough. I want to make some nice garlic chips. So what you're going to do is just give this a nice thin slice. I want a nice, consistent, thick cuts of garlic. They're nice and thin just as so. Look at that, that's beautiful. That's gonna get nice and brown in our fryer. Do that the same with this one. And ladies and gentlemen, this is probably one of the simplest things you can do, but it just brings so much flavor to everything. So I got my garlic chips, put that in here as so. Got my herbs, put that here. And I'm just gonna come a little closer. Let me show you the secrets. And deep fry this a little bit so it gets nice and crispy and all those flavors just release perfectly. Shake out the excess. Take our mayo, 
and boom, that is flavor, my friends. So that all on top, nice crispy, got texture. Add a little bit of salt right there. That is gonna be a perfect dish. I'm gonna cut up my lemon. Obviously, you serve calamari with lemon. It's a match made in heaven. Give that a couple slices. Put that over here into our bowl. Transfer that, open it up. Look at how gorgeous all that is and how it looks. And if you're like me, I like serving things sometimes on chopping boards. It makes it look more rustic, more put together. And you've got this beautifully arranged dish. Calamari, fresh mayonnaise, chopped parsley that's deep fried, garlic chips, you've got lemon, it's everything you want it to be. It's comforting and it's absolutely delicious. Please make sure to check back all our other videos if you want to see more and please make sure to subscribe to The Fact Inside and I'll see you guys very soon. Time to try this bad boy. Perfect. <laughs> it's okay, Gustav. It's okay. Okay, I'm gonna.